Welcome to technical drawing. Today we are going to learn machine drawing. So first we will draw axis line. After drawing axis line, we'll draw this horizontal line, the middle one. Then they have given 74. So I will take 37, 37 on both the sides. And I will draw axis line. Then I will take radius 8 and 22. So draw radius 8 and 22 on both the sides and then draw horizontal line as shown in the figure. After drawing this, we will go down by 65 and we will draw a circle. Circle of radius 30. So you take 30 and you draw a circle. Then you can draw tangent also. Then we'll go up by 54. See from center. This is 54. And we'll draw 33, 33 on both the sides. So go up by 54 and draw 33, 33. because it is 66. Then we'll draw two circles of radius 18. So it is given weight. First we will draw axis line and then we'll draw two circles of radius 18. Then we need to draw say 54, 33, 33 and then 18. Now if you see this is external, they have external radius 20. And if you see now they have a radius 20, external circle 20. So we'll take 18 plus 20, 38. So from here we'll cut 38. From here also we'll cut 38. Wherever it will meet, from that point we'll draw 20. Then 56, it is internal. So 56 minus 18. So from this point, from this center, 56 minus 18, 56 minus 18, that is 38, 38. And from that point you cut 56. Now after this, 22, radius 22. So from here external and from here also external. The radius 22 is touching 22 also and 18 also. So I'm writing A and B, C and D. So from A I will cut how much? 22 plus 22 and from B I will cut 18 plus 22. So I'll take 44, 44 on both the sides and 22 plus 18 so that is 40. I'll cut 40, 40 on both the sides. So I will get the center point from where I can draw radius 22. See this. If you want to know the exact point, you can join the center. Let's say this is P and Q. If you join P to A. And P to B. Same way, Q to C and Q to D. So we'll get the exact distance from where you have to draw arc. How long it should be. Now, you can darken the remaining part. Now what is left? These two circles of diameter 16. So you take radius 8 
and draw a circle. Now we need to draw this 12 circles. If you see 12 circles of diameter 8, it is diameter 44. So first you draw diameter 44. And then you divide circle into 12 part. After that, you take radius 4 and draw circle from each point. Then you can do dimensioning. Thank you.